afternoon, everyone. It's the afternoon here in Edinburgh anyway. Um, what I was going to do is I was just got a short talk here, which is really going to introduce um, the MSc, uh, our program of study, um, and try and explain um, what it is that EPCC does, and what we what we teach in the um, uh, in the in the MSc, and um, what how it performs computer about and, and what it's used for. Of course, you'll learn a lot more about this should you come on the MSc, but just a brief taster. And hopefully you'll all be aware of the of the MSC website, and I've got the URL there. So a very brief overview, I'm going to talk about what EPC is, um, which is the organization that runs the MSC. I'll also talk about what high-performance computing is, um, why it's useful and particularly interesting at, at the present time. And at the end, I'll just give a very a brief overview of the kind of things you on the MSC, but Judy will be talking a lot more about the MSC itself later on. So EPCC, originally we started out as the Edinburgh Parallel Computing Centre, which is a reasonably explanatory name. Uh, I will explain what parallel computing is later on, but nowadays we, we, we're just called EPCC. Uh, we're an institute in the School of Physics and Astronomy, which is part of the University of Edinburgh. So the MSC is, um, is awarded, should you get the MSC, it's awarded by the University of Edinburgh, and EPCC is one of the institutes in the university. Uh, EPCC is slightly different from a normal university department in that we're really focused purely on uh, supercomputing and uh, without doubt we're the UK's leading supercomputer centre and the picture there um, on the screen is a picture of the current Hector system which is uh, the UK's national supercomputer which is used by uh, all researchers in the UK uh, and we run that system, it's based here at Edinburgh and it's actually a system which um, if you're on the MSC get a chance to use, in fact the MSC students were using that machine uh, today, uh, this morning, leaving it for some of the practical sessions and logging on. So, what is high performance computing? Well, um, many problems uh, in science and industry um, require a lot of computer power to solve. You have some problem. I've got a couple of pictures there. The first one is if you're worried about the Earth's climate, that's actually a picture of the, the um, temperature of the Earth's oceans. Or on the right-hand side, if you want to design new sources of power, that's a picture of the, the new fusion of reactor ITER, which is currently in, in construction in France. If you want to tackle these problems, the only feasible way to do them is to, to use a computer model. They're far too complicated to solve uh, theoretically using a pencil and paper. And so you need enormous amounts of computer power to solve these problems. And modern computers require special computer, uh, modern supercomputers require special techniques to program them, and generically we call these high-performance computing techniques. But in fact, possibly the important distinction is that all modern computers are parallel machines. All modern supercomputers are parallel supercomputers. And we'll explain what that is in the next slide. So as it says in the title there, parallel computers have many processors, many CPUs. And until recent, well, until maybe five or six years ago, parallel computers were very special systems, but why um, high performance computing and um, parallel computing is particularly interesting right now is that parallel computing is appearing in all streams of life. So the picture there is, is a picture of uh, just a, an everyday laptop, very much like the laptop I'm using at the moment. And even machine uh, is a small parallel computer. Probably your, your machine has multiple cores, maybe two processing units. Next to it is a sort of a standard desktop server machine and it might have uh, four cores, four processors. Uh, I've got a picture of the PlayStation 3 next door, and that actually has um, nine processors, a master processor, and eight slave processors. So even um, standard equipment you can buy for gaming in, in, in the high street uh, now uses parallel computing. And moving up the scale, um, a computing cluster, which a, a department or, or company might have, might have about 100 processors. Uh, the Hector supercomputer, which I showed you a picture of um, in, the, in the earlier slide, actually has 40,000 processors. So clearly, um, you need to learn special techniques and programming skills and, and approaches to programming these machines to taking a problem you want to solve and make it uh, efficiently on 40,000 processors. And those are the techniques that we teach in the MSC. In terms of the MSC um, input, we, we take um, our students from quite a, a wide range of, of subject areas um, although 
EPCC, I think it's an institute in the School of Physics and Astronomy, we don't assume any physics knowledge at all. In fact, our students typically come from two backgrounds. They come from the more applied um, area of computer science, where people are interested in programming. Or from the physical sciences, physics or chemistry, math, people are interested in simulation, that's about solving problems uh, using computers. So we take those two areas, um, the simulation side of physical sciences and the applied programming side of computer science, and put them together to teach on the knowledge um, that you need to program high-performance computers. And that area is now becoming known as computational science. It's computer science is the study, the scientific study of computers. Um, slightly confusing, but computational science is, is using computers to, to do scientific investigations. And we take these two areas of physical sciences and computer science and put them together, and that's what we teach in the MS platforms computing. So as I said, this brief summary, um, the MSC and HPC teaches you all the sort of fundamental tools and techniques which you will need to program the whole range of parallel computers. And I said particularly interesting at the moment is that range of machines isn't any longer um, confined to just a few very large national supercomputers, but almost every computer you'll cut across from now well into the future is going to be a parallel machine. And so these techniques, high performance computing techniques, are relevant across the whole spectrum of computing. And the two things which we aim at, the two sort of driving forces behind the MSC are one, getting the performance, we're always interested about in getting the best performance, making your programs run as fast and efficient as possible. But also we quite a, a focus on high quality and robust software that comes from EPCC's other activities which are in the industrial sector, working with um, commercial clients. We have a lot of history of, of, of quality of um, software development. So putting together good quality software to get the best performance is, is the, what the focus of the MSCR. And there's a picture there of some of the graduations, the students who graduated a few years ago.